guys, welcome back to another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum 12 Days of Cookies series. Today, now we're making cookie number five. P cookie number five is your traditional pecan sandy cookie. And this episode starts right now. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see, my double chocolate uh, blizzard cookies are still behind me. I'm doing a double whammy today. Now we're going to make pecan sandy cookies. Very, very easy to make. We have one cup, uh, excuse me, one stick of unsalted butter, cup of sugar. I doubled my recipe, of course. We have a teaspoon of vanilla, in this case two. I have one egg, two eggs. A cup and a half of AP flour, all-purpose flour. We have half a teaspoon of baking soda again. And we have half a teaspoon of salt, which made one and one because I'm doubling the batch. You guys, I have my sugar and I have my vanilla and my butter creamed in here already. Now I'm going to put it all low and add one egg at a time. And of course, I tested my eggs. Because you don't want to ruin your batch. So let's drop one in at a time. One. Beautiful. And we're also going to add two cups of chopped pecans. You can't have pecan sandies without pecans or pecans or whatever you want to call it. Number two. Remember to grab your tablespoon of flour in your pecans. We're going to dust our pecans with flour so our pecans do not sink to the bottom of our cookies. So when I come back, I'm going to add the dry ingredients. Keep it on low. Don't forget, you don't want to, you don't want a snowstorm in your kitchen, literally. And it's no fun to clean up. I always say it. Okay, guys? You don't want to miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. And check this out. I've already incorporated my dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add our pecans, 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 whatever you want to call them. I'm going to mix them in. I never like to put them in the mixer because I don't want to crumble them up or anything. We want to have that texture in the cookie of the pecans. Is that how you say it? Pecans? I guess. So now we have, I preheated my oven, which I forgot to say again. I don't think it's ever, I don't think I ever am, but... For this cookie is 375 for 15 minutes. 8 to 15 minutes. Now, keep in mind. So check that out. I'm going to go grab my gloves. I'm going to roll my first batch. I'm going to show you before I put it in the oven. And you guys, you don't want to miss this. This is yum, yum, you guys. I'll be right back. I'm back. And I love to use my gloves. Mix it in. I got all my mix here. And I'm going to grab one, make it the size of a little smaller than a ping pong ball, as we did before. Hey guys, I'm back for a minute. Check this out. Ooh, this cookie sheet is still hot. Hold on. Check this out, guys. See? Wow. Nice. So I'm going to put these in a 375 degree oven, 8 to 15 minutes. I can usually smell it because I've made it so many times before. But make sure when you, if you want to check your cookie between the 8 and 15 minutes, you, if it's hard to the touch, very light touch, then it's ready. Let me check it. You guys, when I come back, these babies will be out of the oven. I'm going to taste them. And you guys, you don't want to miss these delicious, authentic pecan sandies. You don't want to miss it, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back at our first batch of pecan sandies. Cookie number five is out of the oven. This is my batch of cookies. Check these cookies out. Yum, yum, yum. Let me show you the whole rack that I have here in my first batch. Look at that, wow. All right, let's taste them. They're still a little warm, so I'm gonna take a taste and show you the inside. Oh, these are so good. Mmm. 
Bought pig hand sandies, you'll never buy them boxed again. This is so easy to make. Look at this. Look how yummy those are. Mmm. Mm, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna finish the cookie. I, I can't. The crunchy. You hear the crunch? Mmm. Hear that? Mmm. And they're sandy and soft in the middle. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Stop. Mmm. Oh, these are so good. Mmm. A crunchy on the edges. Chewy in the middle with those delicious pecans. The reason why you didn't see that cookie full of pecans is not because they sunk to the bottom, but because I like to roll them by hand when I put them on my cookie sheet. So see here. See, they're not perfect in size, but you see there's more pecans. Oh, that's so good. Yum. Remember, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment. And if you've already subscribed, as always, thank you so much. If not, feel free to subscribe. And, guys, I can't stress it enough. Don't forget the two main ingredients in any recipe that you make, whether it's my videos or someone else's. Passion and love. You will never go wrong with a recipe if you incorporate those two as your main ingredient, guys. And as always, you guys, au revoir, los quiero, I love you, and until the next great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum's 12 Days of Cookies, guess what, guys? We're getting close. Cookie number six is next. Stay well, you guys, and take great care as always. Bye.